ओके बच्चो ना विद दिस क्वेश्चन योर इंटीग्रेशन सॉरी योर कानिक्स Through the integration will be covered, inshallah. Okay. Now I'm going to start this question here. It says a particle moving in in a straight line passes through a fixed point O. Now, uh, so this is already passing through the fixed point O. So that means the time is zero. Your x is zero because it is starting its journey from this point O. <clears throat> And it says. Um, its velocity t seconds after passing through o is given by this v equal to 10t minus t square now this is a very yummy kind of uh, equation you must love the quadratic equations because you have a full fledged chapter of quadratics in your syllabus you see this would be a sad face kind of a curve like this okay and without any working you can say that here your t is zero and here your t is Anna, do you understand this picture? Yes. Ji yes, sir. Anna, you must know this picture. Okay. Okay. So this is your uh, graph for. Though he hasn't asked anywhere to sketch this graph, uh, this velocity time graph over here. But if you have this sketch in front of you, you can easily go through the solution of this question here. अच्छा बच्चों, now let's find the velocity of the particle when the acceleration is six. So we know that if you have the velocity, okay, the velocity is there, ten t minus t square. If you differentiate the velocity, you get the expression for the acceleration. That is ten minus two t. Now we have to find the velocity. At what time when the acceleration is six? So indirectly, we need to find that time when the acceleration is equal to six. So let's put that equal to six. So we have minus two t equal to minus four, and your time is going to be two. So let's put that time two over here. So at time equal to two, the velocity is going to be twenty minus four, and the velocity is sixteen meter per second. so that means if if the time is i'm just noting it down here just for the sake of my own notes like here the velocity is 16 as a next next it says find the time taken before the particle returns to o this can also be asked uh, in a way he, he can say find the time when the object is in next at o so this is indirectly he's uh, telling us that we have to find the time when the displacement is zero when the displacement is zero for this purpose you need to have the expression for the displacement okay so the expression for the displacement is going to be uh, you will have to integrate this velocity here okay so um 10 t's integral is going to be 10 t square over 2 and then you have minus t cube over 3 guys you need to be very good at your integration by the way And then you have plus C. Never ever forget to write this plus C. Okay. Now using this information from here, uh, I'm going to put this x as zero and time as zero. So I get the C as zero. Therefore, the displacement is purely going to be five t square minus one over three t cube. Now we know that we have to put this displacement equal to zero for the part B. So let's put x equal to zero here. so we'll get that time here and you see that t square is common here this is t square into 5 minus 1 over 3t and that is equal to 0 so this is either t square equal to 0 you have to show all this working by the way and this is 5 minus 1 over 3 equal t equal to 0 so this gives you t equal to 0 obviously this t equal to 0 uh is referring to this time when your displacement is zero that is referring to the starting position and from here you get your t equal to 15 so that means in 15 seconds your object will be back to the starting position so if i extend this further here okay so suppose here you have your 15 now let me ask you one thing here bachcho if this area between the curve and the this time axis is a and this area is b over here 
So what would you say about the areas A and B? Yes. Hmm? They are equal. Exactly, they are equal. Because uh, you see, uh, the interval for which your curve is above the time axis, that means your object is going in, a, in let's say, in forward direction. And this is the time when this has changed its direction. Okay, I can write it here that at time t equal to 10, it changed its direction, okay? And then it went backwards. And it was again here when the time was 15. Okay, this is just for the sake of your notes, okay? Now let's go to the C part here. It says find the distance traveled by the particle in the second second. Uh, let me give you one more method over here. Now the second second means actually uh, like, you know, when it's one second and when it is two seconds, this is your second second happening here. Okay. The one way of doing is that suppose if you have one over here, you can simply find this through the integration. One way of doing the C part is that you integrate it, but your limit from one to two V DT. Okay. This will be your answer to the C part. And you already know that if you put uh, time equal to one in this displacement here, you will get the distance covered, the displacement covered since, since it is going in the forward direction, okay? So let's do that quickly, but you tell me when you put T equal to one here, what is your X? Tell me quickly, five minus one over three, that is 14 over three, that is 14 over three. So this is zero. And when the time is one, this is 14 over three here. Now tell me quickly, when your time is two, what is this X? Hmm? That is 20 minus eight over three. Hmm? 60, 52 over three. Um, sir, you have one, you have substitute kiss equation in there? I mean, this equation here. That is your displacement. Isn't that doing the same thing, just the integration, mm -hmm. mein hai, but like up for the less formally career? This is totally up to you, Beta. This is totally up to you. you There's 17.3. This is 17.3. Okay. So when the time is two, uh, our object is from the starting position, it is uh, 50. Let me write it as 52 over three because they are both over three. You can easily subtract them. So the distance covered in the second second is going to be. 52 over 3 minus 14 over 3. And that is 40, what? Uh, 38 over 3. Okay. This is approximately 13, Hana. Right? Yeah, this is going to be 12 whole 2 over 3 meters. I'm stopping here. You can see if you are not able to get that, please tell me. Now it says in the D part, find the distance traveled by the particle before it comes to instantaneous rest. There again, there are two ways. Either you, you, you can do it as zero to 10 V D T. Otherwise you can simply put X may here. You can put your T 10 over here. That would be the same thing. Okay. So your, I need some space here for the D part. Okay. I'm writing the D parts answer here. That is going to be X equal to five into hundred. That is 500 minus 1000 over three. Can you tell me quickly? What is this answer? That is 500 over three Hana, meters. I'm writing this in exact form. Um, sir, I have a question. How do you know, okay, I'm um, like 10 is where it came to instantaneous rest. Because you graph apne khud Yes, look at this beta. I have done this mentally because I have kept V equal to zero. Na yaar. Look at this. 10 T minus T square equal to zero. You solve this yaar. T sorry, sorry, sorry. 10 minus T equal to zero. So one of the T is zero and the other T is going to be 10. So that is why I've drawn this yaar. This is zero and this is 10. Okay. Achha. So now moving to the E part. That is your favorite part. Bacho. Now we have already done this up to the first 10 seconds, we know that uh, the distance covered is 500 over three meters. Okay, 500 over three meters. Let me erase the part below this. And so that I have some space here for this. Um, okay, 
uh, let me cover this up here. Where is this, this, this one? I don't need this. I don't need this. I just need this distance wala, displacement wala equation. Hai. Okay. Now, but so let's put 12 into this equation here. Okay. Because, you know, I can't directly say, okay, ah, chalo, let me put t equal to 12 and that will be the answer to my e part. I know that within these 12 seconds, this has happened. The object has returned when the time was 10. Okay, na? So uh, here is a time 12. Let's say this is the time 12 over here. Okay, na? So uh, put t 12 here at t equal to 12. So what is this? That is going to be... Uh, tell me quickly, what is this? 5 into 12. 144. Square, minus 1 over 3 into 12 cubes. So what is this distance? 144. 144. Okay, but thank you. 144. So the, you, you get this exact, right? This is 144 meter. That means, but so this means that we are somewhere here when the time is 12. Okay, and all this orange distance is 144. Let me ask you that what is this blue distance here? Hmm? Do that quickly. Take out like, you know, you have all of this as 500 over 3. Take out 144 from it. What do you get? Minus 144. So what is this? 22.7. Hmm? 68 over 3. 68 basically. over 3. Okay, that is 22.67. 22.6. Right? Okay. Yes, sir. And you add this into this 500, 500 over 3. And finally, your answer is, is going to be 500 over 3 plus 22.67. And this will be your answer. So, but you try to keep your values in exact form as long as you can do that. Okay. I think this was coming in something over three as well. Okay, so this finishes our question here. Now, do we have someone over here who can help us to find the same answer using the area wala concept, area under the graph wala concept? Do we have someone here? Hmm? Human being, anyone who can help us? to get the same answer. Sir, if you like integrate the velocity when I using the limits um, 0 to 10. Very good. Limit from 0 to and 10. You using the limit and then, to 12. then, then? 0 to uh, subtracting them from the limit 0 exactly. to Exactly. Plus and then minus. Because this area is below, okay? Plus and then minus. Or you can revert the limits if, if you want. This is 10 to 12. And this is your VDT. You will get the same answer, I'm telling you. So this is the, the most tricky part in your kinematics where you have to find the distance. So I'm going to repeat this. Whenever you have to find the distance, make sure that you know, you have the information that if your object was um, instantaneously at rest within this given interval up to, like in this case, up to the 12 seconds. Sometimes this can happen twice, okay? For example, look at this. Suppose you have something like this. You have something like this, okay? This is your zero, this is your five, this is your 12, and then this is your, let's say this is 16. And you have to find the distance covered in the first 16 seconds. So you should go for the integration here. You can find this area. You can find this area and then you can find this area. You can add all these areas. That will give you the distance covered in the first 16 seconds. Okay. So at this point, we declare that our kinematics has been covered. Thank you very much, Pachyam.